Greetings, everyone, and a very warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poland, beaming out to you from Little Castaways Beach in Queensland, Australia. Uh, joined today by Terry Dean. Terry, uh, g'day, very warm welcome, sir. Where are you hanging out? I'm in Ocala, which is Central Florida. Central Florida, with the elections are just five days away. All the best for that. So, folks, for those of you who don't know about Terry, he's started his online business from scratch almost in the past lifetime, Terry, it must seem, in 19, 1996. So he's been, you've been around a while doing this, not your first rodeo. He went from delivering pizzas to designing an internet lifestyle business. Boy, what a switch. Gave him both the freedom and the money to enjoy life. Sounds like a great combination. Within a few years, he was consulting with home-based businesses, local companies, and million-dollar corporations. His original companies and websites were sold in 2004. 2006, he metamorphed into and launched My Marketing Coach as a solution for entrepreneurs who are overworked, way too stressed, and just simply not, still not earning enough money, the sort of money they wanted to be earning their business. So this little email, uh, this little interview, I should say, is pivotal to creating a great lifestyle internet business because the title is how to sell more with email without being a jerk. And <laughs> which I think is a terrific title. Thank you, Terry. And the, the Terry, our seven minutes starts now. Let's go with question number one. Who's your ideal client? My ideal client are consultants, coaches, and online course creators who want to build and scale automated system for more leads and sales online. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, question two, what's the problem you solve for them? What we'll find is most entrepreneurs, they have conversion cracks in their websites and their online funnels. And what I mean by a conversion crack is they're trying to transport, it's like trying to transport water with a bucket full of holes. And I help them find those cracks and mistakes so that they can generate more leads and sales. Plug them, plug the holes, stop the leaks. Yes. And so question number three, we've got six and a half minutes left still. When you've got this, this, this coach, this consult, this person marketing his online courses and so on, and they've got the leaks, but they want to really build this lifestyle business. What, how do they know that they're, they're an ideal client for you? So in other words, what are some of the symptoms they're going to be experiencing? It would say, yeah, I, I need to reach out to Terry and get some of his stuff. Well, the, the biggest one is going to be that they're not earning enough money because that's the one that actually okay. matters. Right. They're not earning enough in their online business and they're trying to put together a system, online systems. They're sending out emails, but if the money's not coming in, a lot of times I'll come through and I'll help them. We'll look at their ads. We'll look at their opt-in rates. We'll look at their conversion on their website, their emails, a lot of the other pieces of the business. But for here, one of the pieces that I focus on a lot is often on the email side, which is why we're talking about selling yeah. with email. And a lot of the times they have a, what they consider a dead email list, one that's unresponsive, that's not clicking, that's not buying. And it comes back to that main point again, they're not making enough money from the email list. Right. So that's the big symptoms. They've, so, so are your ideal clients, do they already, they already have an email list? Do you help them get email lists? So they typically already got something, you're just not making money out of it. I sometimes will be helping those who don't have email lists, but the majority of my clients already have an email list. The majority of the time they're already sending out something but it's usually right. not the right emails and it's not working for them. They're not, they're hearing crickets. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So, so they're, they're just not generating enough revenue and they're not getting terrific responses from the emails they are sending out. So yep. question four, and we just out of five minutes left. The, I mean, these are smart people. They've got their own business. They're, they're aspirational. They want to do better. They're going to try stuff. And so what I'm interested in now is that what are some of the common mistakes that they try before they find your solution? Well, there's really two different ways that they often go, two different mistakes that are most common. And the first one is being overly aggressive and sending a lot of email sales pitches. And I'm sure you've been on lists like that, where yeah. it seems like every email you get is a sales pitch and it's bigger and bigger promises and right. it's hyped up through, through to the moon and yep. we're gonna buy this. Yep. And that's being a jerk. So that when we talk about being a jerk, that's that side. And right. that's pretty common. Now, the other mistake that people make is that they overwhelm their audience with boring, dry content. And I like to call that constipated content because it's memorable and that's the type of content that you're sending out. And you're gonna find that the constipated content, again, it's, it's boring. It doesn't really grab their attention. It doesn't identify with the client. It's not entertaining. And clients don't buy from constipated content. Right, so the, the, they're the sort of like the two ends of the spectrum, either pitch, 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 sell all the time or versus uh, boring. So. So let, that might lead us quite nicely into question number five then, and three and a half minutes left. What, what's one valuable 
free action that someone listening to this could take that's going to move them forward in, in, their, in their success by marketing with emails? It may not solve the whole problem. They might need you for that, but it's going to help them a bit. Well, the first thing they need to do, of course, is move out of the constipated content, which is facts and figures. And so the way that they do that is they move into telling stories. And a lot of times that can be case studies. It can be your own personal stories. Mm. And the one tip that I want to give here is to start off with an origin story. And an origin story, that's the why behind what you do. It's the why behind the why of what you do. And here's the question I'm going to give you. This is your point to start with. Okay. Answer this question with all the solutions already available in your overcrowded marketplace. Why did you decide to start another solution? And I want the people listening to this to answer that question and answer it in full detail. A lot of times it's going to be because there was a problem in your own life or a problem with someone close to you. And you tried a bunch of other solutions that didn't work. You can go right. and you can write about those solutions until you finally discovered the unique solution that you have to share with others because you saw how powerful it was. You saw how it could apply to other people's lives because you saw what it did for your own life and for your clients. And now when you write this and you write this up, that's going to be, it could be a single email that you send out. Or if you write a lot about it, it might end up being a series of emails that you talk about the different steps. And it almost becomes almost like a serial story that you send out over several emails. And that's so much of a difference because what you're doing with an email like that is you're telling a story, you're building interest, you're talking about the problems out there, you're identifying with them because you either had the problem or you knew someone who did, and you're showing that you care at the same time while leading them over to your solution. There's, it's a brilliant question because it, it puts a spotlight on the point of difference. I tried all this other stuff and nothing really satisfied me. So that's why I came up with this solution. Can you repeat the question again, please? Because I think there's a lot of gold in that. Okay, the question again is, with all the solutions already available in your overcrowded marketplace, why did you decide to create yet another solution? Brilliant, thank you. Question six, uh, 90 seconds left. What's one valuable free resource we could direct people to that's gonna help them even more with sending emails out without being a jerk? Um, I have a free email conversion kit that helps you create fun, personable emails that get subscribers to open, click and buy. Fabulous. And it's, it's a downloadable PDF and it's like actually a copy of my $39 a month print newsletter. It's one of the issues from it. And it's going to give you cheat sheets. It's going to give you 64 story starters to help you with stories, wow. some subject line templates and more. And you can pick that up at mymarketingcoach.com slash gift. And that's just gift, G-I-F-T. So it's mymarketingcoach.com, all as one word, slash gift. Perfect. Thank you, sir. And that gives us a whopping 40 seconds left for the last question, which is what's the one question I should have asked you, but didn't. Well, we focused in on email. So you might've asked, what about videos, social media, texting, and pretty much every other communication method. And the reality is that you can make the mistake of constipated content with all of those other types of content as well. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's one of the big issues when you try to hire out content is that's what they deliver you a whole bunch of facts and figures without personality, without identification. Mm. And what I just talked to you, that little question I gave you doesn't just apply to email. It applies to pretty much any other piece of content that you want to create. Use that as a starting point to create some good personal content and then also go over and pick up my kit so that you can get other ideas for other types of story starters that you can Perfect. create your other pieces of content out of. Fantastic. Terry Dean, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.